Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ken. This is Beth. This is Ken. This is Eric. And this is Alter Apex Radio. I only hope you're ready for absolute perfection. Hey, what's up, guys? We're the band Alter Apex. Welcome to Alter Apex Radio. This is our show where we invite you in to come and hang out with us as we talk about what we're up to as a band and turn you on to new music that we are discovering. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our future videos. Also, check out our Spotify playlist that accompanies this show by searching Alter Apex Radio on Spotify. And there's also a link in the description below for Apple Music, a companion playlist there, if that's where you stream your music. So like Ken said, we are the band Alter Apex. We play grungy type rock. Uh, We used to play punk rock, not in this band, but uh, this is a whole new arena for us. But we're stoked doing this and very stoked for those that have been listening to the EP that we have up as well as the singles. So if you have not checked it out, please go give us a stream. Um, We also have our first gig coming up by the time this episode's coming out. Uh, We'll probably have played it. Um, But there's some pretty cool stuff going on on that front. We have some new songs that we're working on as well as merch. We got some pretty kick-ass t-shirts. Yeah. Um, designed by a friend of ours. You can go to our Bandcamp page um, and order them there. Maybe we'll send you a sticker, something. You know, maybe Dex will write you a little lo- love note. Um, we'll see. But uh, check us out, social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, whatever you prefer. Just do whatever you want. All right, now it's time to get to know the band a little bit. We're going to go around and do a segment that we like to call Alexa Asks Random Questions. Random! Dex, you'll be up first. Here's a question for you. What's the best type of cheese? (laughs) (laughs) Dad Uh, jokes. (laughs) uh, For me, I I prefer uh, Munster. Wow. Oh, you fancy yeah, with the cheese, huh? Yeah, I can eat I, a freaking I, a brick of monster, dude. Cheesy. All right, Eric, you're up next. Here's a question for you. If you had to leave Earth on a spaceship and take four friends with you, who would they be? Damn. Well, well I gotta say you three. I mean, that totally That's me so on messed the, up if you don't. Put me on the freaking spot here. I mean, yeah. That's so funny. I mean, You're like, like, I would take my other band, Crown and Casket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm gonna go with these three guys with me right here, and then we'll take our buddy Jose Sandoval. Um, that way he can take photos for us to, to post. While we're on the moon. I hope we have a good connection out there. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I didn't know what to do with that one, dude. Sorry. It's... I'm going to fly to the moon. All right, here you go, K-Dub. Here's a question for you. What's the weirdest smell you have ever smelled? <laughs> Sorry. I farted. The weirdest smell. Is it a type uh, of cheese? <laughs> <laughs> it very well could be man i don't know There's four four friends in close quarters in a spaceship <laughs> oh shit that'd be a weird smell. <laughs> or or in a van you know driving for 12 plus hours that's that's some oh, weird smells too yeah. yeah yeah going on going yeah. on tour with your buddies and eating nothing but fast food and then cramming into a van yeah i'm going yeah. with that actually <clears throat> we've all we've all enjoyed that one <laughs> yeah by the way you stink here's mine here's a question for you would you rather shoot spaghetti out of your fingers or sneeze meatballs (laughs) (laughs) dude just like spider-man dude like sneezing meatballs sounds like a (laughs) fucking painful thing to do (laughs) ouch that's gonna hurt because meatballs are big and like you know what that, that's like having a baby through your nose <laughs> yeah and is it a spicy meatball right <laughs> but like yeah. something, something, open there. something yeah. about shooting spaghetti noodles out of your fingers sounds, just sounds really awesome. kind of cool it's like silly string or something there that like yeah. on demand like i know what well, can you be like direction Angel hair pasta, or like you know, <laughs> lasagna. You get fancy with it, right? What a what a party Rig- trick, rigatoni. Yeah. What a party <laughs> trick would that be, though? It's like someone says I'm hungry. Ken pulls out a bowl, and he's just like, 
<laughs> so now it's time to get into some music. Uh, first up, we're going to have uh, Emily Davis from El Paso, Texas, which is not far from Albuquerque. It's like four or five hours. Um, song's called Don't Make a Promise. I'm really excited to do this one. And I, I know we had talked about doing this before, but we've been too busy to do the show because we're, we're rehearsing for our first live gig. So uh, this episode was delayed a little bit, but we're super psyched to include this one. Um, have you guys ever heard Emily's stuff before? Yeah. I know Dexter mm. has heard the of her. The YouTube videos. Yeah. Like, I mean, her voice yeah. is amazing. I saw some of that, the, the Bad Religion covers that she did. It was yeah. really cool. So, so I first discovered her like years and years ago, man. And I, it was just through bad, looking at Bad Religion videos. And I think I saw the one for generator which you know at that point I, I went and watched them all but um i was just blown away man her voice and and guitar playing i mean it's just mesmerizing she mm -hmm. is incredible um and my, one of my buddies i think actually went to high school with her my friend oscar um he was telling me but anyway um you know she has original content and i'm sure this is one of those things where she gets tired of people talking about her covers she's like hey i write songs right you know yeah, you don't yeah. always want to be the band known for the covers but um, but that is really what me, pulled me in. And I think, um, you know, somehow she got, um, she ended up going on tour, or going to some shows with Bad Religion or something, because I'd seen some other videos of her doing like karaoke during soundcheck. They're playing a song in, in, in the club and she's singing it outside in the back door or whatever. Nice. Um, but, you know, pretty cool, man. She's super close to us. And they're actually playing here really soon um, at the launch pad, where we'll be playing this weekend. Um, but she's playing with my friend Maria's band called Abort Abort. So that's going to be a pretty killer show. I might end up going and checking that out. Nice. Um, but yeah, su super excited to include this one. Uh, maybe one of these days we can, you know, share a stage or whatever, you know? Yeah. Sweet. Let's get into it. So here's a song, Don't Make a Promise by Emily Davis and the Murder Police. definitely like some real um kind of there's kind of like a like that country rhythm happening yeah i don't know the, if they do yeah. that a lot that like that's it's really built that this song's really built on that which is a, a great feel her voice sounds really killer one of the yeah. things that i liked about this band catching a couple of their videos since you told me about them eric was like how different all the band members look like the bass player looks like he's in a death metal band like and yeah. he has like <laughs> he has like like death metal shirts it looks like that he's always wearing so like they they've got a lot of different influences like well at least i know he's bringing something different to the table <laughs> but um but yeah it's it's really enjoyable i i also feel like for some reason i feel like i hear something like that has like a like a Irish music kind of flavor. Yeah, I was kind of getting like Flog and Molly, sort of, just sort of, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Celtic music. Thank you, Dex. <laughs> like, so that, I'm, 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 what? Is he playing like weird at, words like, for shit? Yeah. Is he playing like yeah. at a pub or something when you walk in? You know, you can hear this, yes. like just slamming brews with your mates, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> got that folky vibe. Um, I don't think all of her stuff is like this, but you know, you can uh, obviously where it's going to in the song now, you can also hear the punk element too because it speeds mm -hmm. up and it gets into yeah, that, that was cool. You know, the, the, the beat, you know, the punk cool. beat and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, her voice is just stellar, man. Like I, everything else going on, it sounds cool though, man. Like, you know, hearing some of the other songs and, and this one too, just the rhythm on the bass and, and, and uh, the guitar and stuff, it's got some cool um, ambiance to it. For sure.
I was just gonna say, Super killer, man. those yeah. vocals are amazing. Like she's going all over the place with some of those runs. Is yeah, very, and it's got some great. Cool. The har the harmonies and stuff on it are really cool too, man. Just when it comes in with the doubled vocals, mm -hmm. um, sounds awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Her voice is definitely. Um, it's just the the songs are built around the songwriting and the 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 vocals, like it, it and rightly yeah. so. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I almost feel, yeah. There, I think there's a mandolin coming in there or something. Um, yeah. But like I was, yeah, I was like expecting like a fiddle to come in or something. Like, yeah. like <laughs> devil went down to Georgia kind of shit or something. You know, like you could totally picture that coming in. Um, but yeah, that was cool too with the the male vocal that came in, the the dude that mm -hmm. was singing some background mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. I I also like how she's doing like those. Uh, I mean, it can go both ways with this, but like when you're recording a song, a lot of times like you'll hold yourself back from doing something on the recording because it's kind of impossible to do it live, you know? But yeah, when you do that though, you really kind of limit where you can take the song on the right. recording. Like, so yeah. I, I feel like it's probably better just to go all in, do everything you want to do on the recording and then, and then do the absolute best you can do. Later. Yeah, and like <laughs> yeah. you can change it, do a different version live, because it's really cool how she's doing those, like, oh. oh yeah, I'm really liking the those blues notes, and the like, while she's singing. Stuff. Yeah. I'm really liking those. Well, and like, for, you know, bands that add that much to the recording, I mean, that's really where like backing tracks come in now, right? I mean, yeah, a lot, yeah. A lot of bands are using them, dude. And it's, you know, I, I, it's totally fine. I, I think to a certain yeah. level, right? I mean, it's, it can really add to a live show. I think I saw, who did I see? There was one band I saw in San Diego that used a lot of that. I think it might've been Let Live at one point. I don't yeah. know, but it's, it's pretty common, dude. There's some bands that yeah. use it and they kill and it's awesome. Like they do a yeah. really good job of it and they're not like, it doesn't seem like they're subtracting from what they're doing by using the tracks. I mean, mm -hmm. when you're watching a band and they're using tracks to the extent where like, you're like, he's not even singing. That's all. that's what I was yeah, gonna say. You know, it's a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> you know, once once you start adding tracks to like uh, the lead vocal, and the lead singer is no longer singing, or you know, like then it then it's sort of like, okay, well, is this really a performance? You know, mm -hmm. I mean, because yeah. you know, a lot of pop music, it's just them miming and dancing mm -hmm. to the whole entire song, and of course, it's a big spectacle and it looks cool. But it's not really them singing, you know. It's not really like, it's not all of it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Anyhow, we digress. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Emily Davis and the Murder Police. <laughs> that's a rad name, by the way, too. Yeah, yeah that's cool. it is a great name. ass name. Yeah. I like that bass going. That's a really cool bridge. <laughs> I, 
I actually, I mean, like, I mean, this is coming from a somewhat, you know, uh, uneducated perspective or like unschooled perspective in like the whole realm of country music. But like, this sounds like it, it, it's very, very crossover potential too into country. Mm -hmm. Like, like yeah. some of the, some of the cool old school country, <clears throat> you know, I'm going to mention like Dixie Chicks or like early Taylor Swift type stuff. Like, I feel like there's, there's something that could cross over there. Um, with this I'm, I'm sure like i'm sure she has fans coming to her shows that are coming because they found her like you found her eric because they love bad religion and punk and they hear the punk in it you know there's you know like even when you look at the band <laughs> punk makes sense yeah. like when you're looking at this band but then there's probably other people that love country and love celtic music so like mm -hmm. she's got this hodgepodge of, mm -hmm. of stuff that's like it's very cool you want to know something funny, dude? So I, I guess this is a slight confession here. So this is a this will give you an idea of the time frame when I discovered her bad religion videos. So like, I I was so into them at one point that like I found this site that would extract audio from YouTube videos. You would like paste the link in, and then it would extract the audio, mm -hmm. and you could download an MP3, right? So sorry, I remember that. I, I I stole all your bad religion stuff <laughs> offline. Um, but I but yeah, I did that so I could sync it to my iPod. You know because this is when you had you had to plug an ipod into a computer to carry your music with you you had to update it right so youtube to mp3.com yeah it was something like that I don't yeah know. I feel like that's that's quite the compliment i think <clears throat> no that's for sure i i i remember finding her probably shortly after i moved back to albuquerque from phoenix so it was probably around 2010 2011 around then nice nice yeah yeah she uh we actually got hit up by them to play with them <coughs> with crown and casket at the uh mm -hmm. the moonlight but we couldn't do it for one various reason or another but i know they played albuquerque a few times i do think that i think they played with bad religion the last time bad religion was here So, so, you know, I actually hadn't heard that song until I, I purposely didn't listen to it to uh, hear it for the first time tonight, dude. And that was good. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, was, that was really that was good. Rad. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great tune. Congratulations, guys, on that new single. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with us, listening to it. And uh, we're picking up on all sorts of different cool stuff, which is from uh, all things that speak to the fact that you guys are great musicians uh, great songwriters, and you deserve all the success. Bird, that was sick. All right, up next, we've got a band that uh, I found recently that was on our fans also like section on Spotify, and I uh, checked them out, and we were also listed on their fans also like section, and so um, shared them on our Instagram tagged them, hit them up, told them we might feature them on the show. They're a band from the Austin, Texas area, another Texas band. Um, they're called Mount Gray. And the song we're going to be listening to is called Back Again. But let's go over to their bio real quick, see if there's some info about them on Spotify. So Mount Gray began as a solo project of James Sargent in Austin. He performed solo on the debut self-titled album. Uh, let's see here. May 2020, they had released another tune um, and a new single, Back Again. This is the one we're gonna listen to. Uh, came out February 19th, 2021. So these guys have still been hitting it nice. during the pandemic. And um, yeah, I mentioned to you guys before, I heard some, uh, I felt like I could hear some Alice in Chains, which hmm. if you guys end up listening to us at all, you're going to hear why we liked that because mm -hmm. we're definitely into some Alice in Chains. So, all right, let's get into the tune Back Again by Mount Gray. Uh -huh. 
What do you guys think so far it's got a good grungy vibe to it for sure yeah uh, just the, the you know the crunchy heavy guitars just the rhythm the, the that opening riff did you guys hear the the alice in chains in that opening riff yeah yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. for yeah. sure yeah it was, it was great it was it was it was very well done i, mm. I love his vocal melodies his vocal melodies are really really great um i i for for whatever reason that uh that that one lyric the help me open your eyes man i i love the phrasing of that i feel like, mm -hmm. like that's really cool i didn't notice until just now um because i think i mentioned to you guys before that i heard some alice in chains but then i could also hear some like like green day or something like that in it like some something poppy punky is in there and i realized that his voice is reminding me a lot of of a of a throwback to like the early 2000s american hi-fi oh yeah oh yeah, shit yeah. totally you guys remember that uh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 like it, he's got this like i love how they're they're processing his vocals how they're layering it but so, something about his voice um it certainly you know belongs on rock radio that that kind of style for sure i can hear that but yeah the the, the riffs are great um Let's keep going. I like the harmonies. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. There was some little turnaround too on that verse part that was it was pretty sweet, man. There was some cool stuff mm -hmm. they were doing. I'm gonna bring it back just a little bit to try and hear some yeah. of the stuff that we're all talking about. Also reminds it. me like of like creepy uh, riff, yeah. Kind of reminds me of kind of like nerd rock, kind of like Weezer and stuff like mm. that. Yeah, totally. I can hear some of that too. I was thinking of that, and then I landed that with that American hi-fi reference mm -hmm. for the vocal tone. But yeah, I can hear that sound too. How it's kind of like the the Weezer that. That I'm thinking of that you're pro that I'm thinking you're probably like referencing is like that earlier stuff that was kind of drudging, even though it mm -hmm. was kind of like poppy and kind of like like the the lyrics were like you know kind of cheeky and like kind of you know playful. It yeah. was still kind of grudgy and dark. Yeah. Like there was a, there was a darkness to that earlier mm -hmm. Weezer Pro stuff. Yeah, probably not so much like the the Blue album, but I, I think I'm thinking more like Pinkerton. Pinkerton Weezer. Oh, yeah. It was like a lot heavier and a lot, a lot darker of a record. Yeah, like there's so many bands that I listen mm -hmm. to talking about where they were inspired to play music initially. And mm -hmm. some bands that are really dark, a lot of screamo bands and stuff. And they cite Pinkerton mm, yeah. by Weezer as like one of their like all time influences as an album. Hmm. Crazy. Like like Emery, the band Emery. Like yeah. they're so into that P 
Pinkerton album. Actually, when they were in college starting a band, one of their projects that they did like in like music production class is they recorded Pinkerton front to back, like <laughs> as, cool. as, as Emery basically. But wow. Sick. yeah, they ended up being a screamo band, but like they were soon like, yeah. So there's this cool, like kind of uh poppy stuff. That's like right alongside that, that dark drudging guitar that's happening. Yeah. Some of the, the drums are sick too, man. They got a good drummer. Like some of the fills and stuff. Yeah. They're doing sound a killer. Yeah. Some of some really good accents in there. Let's keep going. That three against, I always love that three against four drum, drum beat that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, yeah, yeah. I had no idea that that's what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, when you describe it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's a great feel, you know? Um, yeah. It's funny, like I'll send you song ideas and you'll be like, oh yeah, that sounds cool. It's in six, eight. And I was like, oh, I thought everything was four, four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, don't get me wrong. Like I know some stuff, but like, yeah, like I, I'm definitely like not like math rock nerd, totally oh, knowing yeah. how to, no. how to, you're not going to manipulate start... time and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> you're I not going to start a gent, a, a gent band. Is that what this? <laughs> oh, get a, like get an genting. eleven string guitar. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that's that's way beyond me. But you know, you t I I know three, four, 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 six, eight. Yeah. Woof. Woof. Yeah, this is good stuff. It, def it definitely sounds like something you'd have heard on the radio back in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. Nice. Every single time they go back to that palm muted on the guitar, it's just like hell yeah! It's like so, right, <laughs> it's so good. You cannot nod your head to that. And it's been very tasteful how they placed that throughout the song. It's almost like one of those callbacks we talked about in past episodes, where you kind of forget, yeah, that that, that, that was part of the song, and then they dun, 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 yeah. dun, dun. like I mean yeah. that's almost well, I mean that's we say Alice in Chains, but really where that's coming from i think is metallica like that's that's yeah. coming from like the thing that should not be metallica like like i think that's where alice in chains was probably bringing some of the heavier stuff that they were influenced by into the the hair metal stuff that yeah. they were really into you know they were listening to Motley Crue and Guns N' Roses, but they were also really into like Metallica. And so, yeah, like yeah. Master of Puppets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm acting like I know what the hell I'm talking about, but probably not, maybe. <laughs> 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 no, it's, that's, it's, that's what people do on things like this. You just act like you know what you're talking about. And like, you know. You know. 
<laughs> Fake it till you make it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I really like the harmony there, but I also like there's some sort of reverb that they're putting on that background vocal that yeah. is like really making it kind of uh, shoegazy. Like th there's uh -huh. some like... You know what I'm getting out of that part too is I hear a little bit of Pixies, man. Mm -hmm. I can definitely hear a little bit of Pixies in, in the, you know, Sick, which that's is one a, of my favorite bands. I love I love that's the a cred season. reference. That is a cred reference right there. You get <laughs> yeah. you get cred for doing that. Like I'm Solid. always like I'm always on the nose. <laughs> Metallica, you know. <laughs> Are there other metal bands? I don't know. <laughs> no. No, but the Pixies. I mean, like the Pixies. Like I, we wouldn't have had Nirvana without them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like Nirvana was totally influenced by them, and yeah, like. That would have been, uh, it's crazy. Like bands that like you would have probably never even ever heard of spawn these bands that are like the biggest bands of all time. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a trip. Man. Yeah. And those bands on the lead. Oh. Nice. Oh, cool. That was, a, that was a cool ending. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. It was real tight, sudden. Oh, sick. That was good. I yeah. That. Those guys are cool. Not too far away, man. Maybe we'll end up like uh, playing a show with them. Yeah, I mentioned to him, like, if you guys end up in Albuquerque, maybe we could play a show or if we go down to Austin. My brother in law plays in a band in Austin, too. So it'd be fun to, to make it down nice. there and, and hop on a show. Yeah. But uh, yeah, congratulations, Mount Gray, Killer Sound. Uh, it sounds like these guys have been doing their thing for quite a few years. So, yeah, the, this this most recent single was really, really killer. So wish you guys all the best and uh, continued success. And uh, let's keep in touch. Those guys are badass. So up next, we're going to get into a band from Seattle, Washington. Um, our friend that works at KISW up there, the big rock station in the area. His name is Danny V. And uh, he's been a longtime friend of ours. Uh, always like the, the coolest, most supportive guy. You know, he always supports everything that we do. Uh, we love and appreciate him very much. And uh, we've been chatting since we started up this Alter Apex project about the potential of getting out to Seattle and, and playing a show, getting to hang out with him, maybe doing a show that the station puts on with some of the, the local bands of the area. And he mentioned these guys uh, that we're going to listen to now. They're called Wyatt Only, or I'm sorry, Wyatt Olney and The Wreckage. Um, as a band that we would uh, maybe end up playing with. So um, we wanted to feature a song from this, uh, from these guys on our show. So um, let's see here. What does the bio on Spotify say about these dudes? A hard rock quartet from Seattle, Washington, formed in 2015. So they've been doing their thing for a bit. Uh, group quickly rose to prominence. Um, in the, in the Pacific Northwest and surrounding territories after the release of their debut in 2016. Looks like they've done some big stuff with the with KISW. They mentioned them in their bio. Nice. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Danny wasn't, you know, connected with that. He's just such a supportive guy. He finds great stuff and he supports it. Um, I, I really love people that do that. That definitely is Danny for sure. So uh, yeah, let's check these dudes out. Here is uh, Wyatt Olney and The Wreckage with their most recent song. Actually, I don't know if this is their most recent tune, but this is the one that Danny sent our way. This is a song called uh, Swan Song.
That's cool. So I said when I was listening to this song the other day for the first time that I felt like I was simultaneously listening to uh, like an early 2000s emo screamo band and Iron Maiden <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> like, like, I feel like I could, I don't know where it's going to go. You know, when, when that intro comes in, I'm like, and I'm hearing this, I'm like, yeah. I could hear a vocal like Bruce Dickinson coming in. Yeah, you know, or like what? What's gonna happen? It's exciting. I got the Iron Maiden for sure. The uh, you know kind of electronics on the intro, totally. That was cool. Uh, I, I don't know if you're familiar, Ken, but I, I it totally reminded me of In Flames. Oh, so yeah. I mean, I've, I've definitely heard of them. I, I I know I've heard some of their stuff, but I haven't gone uh, too they're, deep. Yeah, they're incredible. But they do they do a lot of stuff like that, like just you know starting off songs with that kind of uh, vibe for sure. Nice. I feel like that vocal inhabits both of those worlds. <laughs> like, like, yeah, dude. He kind of like there's coheed. Like this is in the this is like coheed. Like mm -hmm. you know a band that like inhabits both of those worlds. Like they mm -hmm. kind of like sound like screamo emo a little bit, but then they also you can hear for those who were growing up in the time of '80s metal, you hear that they were too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then, then you know, Claudio from Kogi has that crazy high. Yeah, you know, just yeah, his voice is, is insane, dude. There's definitely no one that sounds like him. But I, but I love the attitude of this vocal. You know, when, like when he when he came in, and then now he brings it down. The more than I can take. <laughs> like yeah, that was that was, that was that was very cool. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of feeling happening in there. Screamo. Nice. So I also hear like, you know, I mean, it's, it's like, I, I wasn't super, super into these guys, but massively successful. I hear disturbed mm -hmm. like, like yeah. that, that like powerful rock vocal kind of like, rah, you know, like the, the vibrato, <clears throat> like there's yeah. like that vibrato that he's bringing in. That's that throwback that, I mean, I think disturbed was probably very influenced by like some 80s metal type stuff too um these guys are uh, probably gonna hunt you down for that reference ken <laughs> <laughs> yeah i uh I, dude, I, well i am I, not I, saying like i'm not hearing like <laughs> in it or anything <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I hear it in like the give me the strength and like i would if i wrote something like that i would be stoked on it like i think I, it's great yeah those type of vocals remind me of like early Avenged Sevenfold too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah. I, but you know, I love me some eighties rock. I love me eighties metal. I love metal. Um, and then, you know, they have a lot of elements of all that stuff, but then that scream was definitely like a, a punk emo screamo yes. scream that would have mm -hmm. been in many, you know, many songs that around the early 2000s, mid 2000s. Right. Um, but I, I love what he's doing vocally, dude. I think like, it's showing, very dynamic like, all over it's the place. very, very dynamic cool dude yeah yeah, yeah. he's yeah. got a lot of range and then yeah the vibrato that is not easy to do dude like i mean you don't hear a lot of singers pulling off 
Bruce Dickinson, right? I mean, it's just mm -hmm. not, it takes a, a lot of talent for sure. Absolutely. It's a great chorus too. Oh, I think we do have to say those guitar harmonies are badass. Like oh, that, yeah. whole, that whole, like that, that's a super catchy lick that they're doing there. That's awesome. I love that part. Oh. Yeah, that's a cool change. I just want to sing this song. Like I really want to. Sing, like, I, I want to know the lyrics so that I could sing along because it's, it's it's great. But yeah, like Ken, like you pointed out, the turnaround that they do to go into the verses, how they walk it down, going to like that was very cool. It yeah. was something like that. I wasn't in the little squeal there too at the end. Yeah, it's so badass. Little the squeal was really cool. It's very Dragon oh, yeah. Force esque. <laughs> like that that's it's great man it's really good you won't take me alive. i hear the disturbed in that did you hear it yeah But I mean, in my book, it's better than Disturbed. I just heard the vocal yeah. reference. <laughs> and like, I mean, I think even anybody who's going to dig would, you know, like take a dig on Disturbed and say, I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, like, especially as I get older, I realize that most of that stuff is just like unreasonable snobbery that's <laughs> jealous of the fact that yeah. they are hugely successful. Like that dude can sing like a motherfucker like that yeah. he's a great singer like and he writes really good songs they might not be your favorite songs but <laughs> like he's got a career you know like he's got a career in music like That is so metal. Yeah, dude. Like, we're in the eye of the storm. Now the <laughs> vultures will swarm. <laughs> 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 That's so metal. I could picture, Great. I gotta look up and see if there's a music video for this, man. I could I could picture like an epic music video for this. Hell yeah. Let's see where this bridge is gonna go. I think it's probably at the bridge here. <laughs> like the point like when all the musicians in the audience are just like oh you know they're like doing that live like back to back to yeah. you know just like <laughs> 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 Like that part gets me every time in the middle of the chorus when it goes da 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 da. That's a great change. That's very early two thousands emo, right? Mm -hmm. Like and yeah. uh, well placed. It's it's perfect. 
very live it felt like a like yeah. a live thing i'd be like a, but like a show ender or something when they were ringing out with that i felt like i could hear the laugh from the end of master of puppets <laughs> yeah <laughs> that, that was killer, great dude. That, was so was, that, that was pretty awesome i like so the first time that i listened to that song i didn't listen to it all the way through because i knew i wanted to do this with it and listen to it with you guys but i was already singing that chorus by the end of the song which mm. I think that like that's a fantastic sign of a great song. It's like if you're already singing along, like bas- basically your first listen. Yeah. Singing along. To yeah, it, it's yeah, it's well all written. very memorable, you know, mm. just within that short time span. Yeah. It was sick. Yeah, that was a great song. Congratulations, dudes. I mean, it seems like they're doing really, really well, particularly with that tune. Like that tune's gotten nice. a lot of attention and uh I mean, definitely deserves some more. I mean, there's there's uh, there's a lot of people in the world that would dig that. So, hope you yeah. guys can get uh, get your stuff out to a lot more people. And wow, wouldn't it be very very cool? I mean, it'd be like a dream for us, like to get to swing up to Seattle, hang out with our boy Danny V, and play a show with you dudes. That would be badass. So. Um, we would love to have the opportunity for you to absolutely show us up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. um, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with us, guys. Congratulations on the song, all that you've accomplished so far. Wish uh, all the best to you and more success in the future. That was, that was so good. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We've been the band Alter Apex and you've been whoever you are. Thanks for joining us. Um, We hope you dug the tunes that we introduced you to. If you haven't checked out our band yet, and maybe you came over because you're a fan of one of these other bands that we featured, definitely check us out. Hit up Alter Apex on Spotify. If you like hard rock, grunge type music, uh, we really uh, like, you know, doing some some darker type stuff with this uh, project because we've been in like pop punk and punk bands before. Um, uh, we we dig it, but that's why we play it. If you dig it, cool. If you don't, that's cool too. So uh, check it out and uh, come back and check out a future show. Subscribe. Catch you later. Peace. It wasn't so bad.